I think people got tired of using it, not gonna lie, because there's really no reason to not use this weapon right now. <laughs> what the- so Hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be counting down the top 10 most overpowered guns in the current version of Phantom Forces. And let's start it off with number 10, the Colt Mars. This gun is absolutely ridiculous. It is great in every way and I'll explain why. But if you guys are enjoying videos on this channel, please check if you're subscribed because yeah, a lot of people aren't. Like 70% are not subscribed. Colt Mars is a submachine gun. However, it has 825 RPM, which is pretty high high but it has basically assault rifle type stats the reason i say that is because it has really high bullet velocity really good pen kind of like an assault rifle but it still has smg handling smg reload speed and the downside of it before was that it did 20 like 9 or something which is pretty bad damage then they increased it to 32 and then they gave it a torso multiplier on top of that so it used to be a four shot anywhere on the body which obviously is not very good, but now it is basically a three shot anywhere on the body, which basically makes the time to kill really, really fast. 0.1 seconds or whatever time to kill, which is obviously very good. So they took a gun that was basically supposed to be overall great, but didn't have the fastest time to kill, and then they gave it a fast time to kill. Obviously, that makes it way too good. Yeah, this gun is insane. Oh my gosh, that was actually the craziest nade ever. At number nine, though, we have the MP7. Now, the MP7 is a four hit kill SMG, so it doesn't kill quite as fast as Colt Mars does, but it has a lot of other great stats, such as really, really great handling, reload speed, and most importantly, 950 RPM instead of 825. A whole 125 RPM more. And with armor piercing, this can actually still five hit kill at long range. And this is the nerf version of the MP7. Before the nerf, it probably would have gone a lot higher. They did nerf the gun. However, I played like two games with the nerfed version of this, and I still got a 112 kill game. So obviously, this gun is still doing plenty well. It doesn't have as great recoil. This is not really the range you want to use it on. But if you can get up close, obviously, like most SMGs, it's going to be great. And next up, we have another SMG. Trust me, there will be more non-SMG weapons. Because surprisingly, after the SMG update and then the subsequent nerfs, some of the SMGs are not the best guns in the game. But then we have, of course, the 5.0, which, as you can see, can one-shot people, and it's full auto. A lot of people are forgetting about this gun, which is kind of dumb, because if you didn't know, like two updates ago, this was the most used, like, insane weapon in the whole game. I'm not gonna lie, this weapon is still just as good. If you didn't know, this gun is normally a two-shot burst. However, it has a full auto conversion, and it's a 50 caliber submachine gun, which obviously is going to make it very powerful. It can two-hit kill to the body and one-shot to the head. Probably better than the first two on this list, but honestly, you could give the Colt Mars a little bit higher spot. It really depends on what you want. See, even from there, 92. This guy is weird, and he's not gonna beat me. And then 44 there, that's still a three hit, which is obviously perfectly fine. The new sound effect on this is really interesting. Switch my map because at number seven, we have the Saiga 12. Now the Saiga 12 is just the best shotgun in the whole game. It doesn't have great range at all, but it has 350 RPM and it is a semi-auto shotgun. You really cannot go wrong with uh, 350 RPM, even if the range isn't great. And up close, this is still perfectly a one-shot kill. I'm running birdshot because if you didn't know, birdshot is the way to go on this gun. The kill range becomes absolutely horrendous, but as long as you get up close, it is perfectly fine as you can see. Yeah, there's there's really no reason to not be running this gun, honestly. <laughs> like, easy multi-kill there. This guy missed me. Another, okay. That's a nade. Okay, not too bad multi-kill. Basically, if you run this on containers, you just win. Now, it doesn't have great range, so I'm not going to put it very high on this list. Honestly, any of the guns previously you could use a little bit further, but, uh, you know, it's a freaking basically full auto shotgun you kind of got to give it a decent score you know what i mean okay i hit you twice and nothing happened number six though we actually have the p90 now the p90 was very similar to the mp7 in terms of its spot last update however they nerfed the mp7 but then barely nerfed the p90 for some reason like the p90 recoil is the same as it was before which is to say it's very accurate and it also has 50 bullets and 1100 rpm honestly it was probably already better than the mp7 and then now it's just even even better in my tier list video from yesterday which i do recommend you go check that out I'll put it a full tier above the mp7 because it is that much better like it's a full tier on a tier list above yeah 1100 rpm just it just destroys people pretty solid gun not even gonna lie to you dude I don't know why they keep allowing these 
weapons in the game, bro. Next weapon up, though, is the Dragonov SVDS. The SVDS, I don't know why people aren't talking about how OP this gun still is. It is a one-shotting sniper rifle with 280 rpm i don't know why that's not like a big deal to some people but it is definitely a big deal to me this gun used to have 60 rpm then they nerfed the one hit kill body range a little bit but didn't remove it and gave it 280 rpm so now basically you can spam it up close and then still one shot people it makes no sense it still has great bullet velocity it has the ability to one shot headshot all ranges basically like a slug shotgun that has infinite range you know what i mean like it's ridiculous I don't know, dude. Yeah, this gun is still really good. I don't know why people aren't using it. Like, people were using it right when it got buffed. And I think people got tired of using it, not gonna lie, because there's really no reason to not use this weapon right now. <laughs> what the frick? At number four, we actually have a light machine gun that I've barely seen, and that's the RPK, specifically with armor piercing. Basically, the RPK is a lot more accurate now. But the main thing is armor piercing now has that ability to uh, give you a little bit extra torso multi for long range, and that essentially allows the RPK to three hit kill to the body at any range, which is obviously really good. It's kind of like the G3. If you didn't know, I have 10,000 kills on the G3 now. And I'm not going to lie, even though I'm not a big RPK fan, the RPK is way better than the G3 right now. They basically do the exact same thing. The G3 does do more headshot damage, but I think you'd prefer to have 20 more bullets and then probably lower recoil, faster rate of fire, and still a three hit. Just destroying weapon. 40 round DMR, basically. That's full auto. It's crazy because it works so well up close, and then it also just works amazing at long range. I don't know why this weapon isn't being used a ton. It's genuinely one of the best guns. At the number three spot, we have the M107. Now, this could easily go number one as well. Basically, everything I said about the SVDS, except it can one-shot to about five times as far. I don't know why people thought this was balanced. People were actually trolling in my comments when they said this was balanced. I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, the aiming speed is a little weird with a red dot if you're using the extended mag, but then you can probably just take off the extended mag. I don't know. It can one-shot to 250 stun and people are like well it's actually balanced because it it's a uh, it, it aims slow ish i guess this weapon has 250 rpm and then a 250 stud one shot range yeah it's really good as you can probably tell at the number two spot though we have the ak 107 the bane of my existence i don't know why this weapon is as overpowered as it is, the AK-107 has 850 RPM and the same hits to kill as the HK-416. So it's basically an HK-416. So damage-wise, very similar to an HK-416. But let's pull out the HK-416 for just a second, okay? This is one of the best loadouts you can get for recoil. And as you can see, it is really good on the recoil. But not, not perfect. But you know what is perfect? This gun's recoil. Let's take a look at this doesn't move it, it just doesn't move even the shots you're missing are not really because the recoil went too high or something it just means that it hasn't turned back to the guy fast enough right because this weapon only has horizontal recoil basically means you will never have to correct for the recoil the hk416 goes up so you might have to pull down this one you just have to wait for the shots to hit and you don't have to wait very long because it has 850 rpm so it just beams people from any range. I don't know why this is allowed to exist. I really hate this gun because it's just so accurate. It makes basically any like DMR or long range weapon just useless. Like any slow weapon for a long range is actually not even good right now because this gun exists. You could use like a type 20 or something, but why would you when this gun is more accurate than them and probably has better time to kill too, you know? Great fire rate, not even bad in terms of the TTK. It's ridiculous what this gun does. Also, can we talk about how I have 87 kills right now while talking? Oh my gosh, I could easily get 100. Okay, probably not in the amount of time that's left. I don't think I can get like 20 kills in like a minute and a half or whatever, especially when I keep getting intervention, but we can try to go for it. That's a good start. Ah, uh, one HP. I'm gonna try to lock in and not talk a lot. Let's just go for it.
Oh my gosh, that was so good, dude. 109! Oh my gosh. That is actually crazy. Dude, this gun is so OP. That is crazy. I don't even know what multi that was. I was so locked in, bro. This is what happens when I lock in. Like, a lot of people say, like, I'm bad. Like, I'm one of the bad YouTubers at this game. I'm pretty good at this game, but I, listen, I do not, I do not usually sweat. But that's what happens when I fully, like, lock in. But also, this gun is OP. So maybe I am bad, and I'm just abusing an OP gun. That is in insane dude 116 kills well that is not a bad way to show that this gun is overpowered that is a close range map and that gun is still that op if you watch this far make sure you're subscribed because a lot of people are not and like the video but also i have a second channel so if you want to see my second channel the link will be in the pinned comment i do a lot of like history type videos on that but yeah let's get into the last gun it's actually the M60. AK-107 could easily go, you know, number one, but the M60 is ridiculous no matter your skill level because for some reason they decided to give this weapon a ramp down feature and then they gave it with AP the ability to three hit kill to the body all ranges. So this weapon can kill from any range very, very quickly. I'm so bad with LMGs. I don't know. They just are way too slow for me. So I swap off of them all the time, but this gun is crazy because it also shoots really quick now. And if you thought the original M60 was broken, this one is probably way more broken because of the ability to always three hit at any range. I'm not going to lie. I do not like this gun very much, but uh, it's OP because it also does 48 body shot up close with AP. Actually, without AP too. I don't know. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> no, and then I can just keep shooting forever, bro. Oh my gosh. The fact that it ramps down is honestly a really cool feature. Like, the longer you shoot it, the slower it shoots, which kind of improves the recoil, which is kind of cool. Like the time to kill, even at its slowest, is really not too bad either and yeah you can see why this weapon is really really op i don't really have to explain it to you you can see it right here 100 bullets with the ability to three hit all ranges basically like a 100 bullet rpk with more fire rate at the start which is obviously really good if you guys did enjoy though that's gonna do it i cannot believe i dropped that many kills but i will see you guys all in the next video hope you enjoyed bye bye